Well, it's week number 3 of Fallout 4's release, and people are still busy mining the game. Every day there's just a bunch of new maps to sort through, so let's get started. So first up I assemble two packs that change the game's lighting. In the vanilla game the lighting is pretty washed out. Dark areas are not really that dark and the night is uh, still pretty bright. So to make the lighting look a lot better and a lot darker I've combined realistic lights, darker nights and Pippo shadows. Darker nights has a very to the point name, it'll make your nights look a lot darker. Well there's about 7 levels of darkness you can choose from depending on what you prefer. There's also different tints that are optional if you really miss those. Now, realistic lights fixes the outblown indoor and outdoor lighting, so it goes rather well together with darker nights. And if you combine that with Pippo Shadows, which coincidentally also has a very to the point name, but this adds shadows to the headlamp as well as the Pippo light. So these three mods will make your lighting in game look a lot better, but also a lot darker. So you might be wondering how on earth you're gonna be able to see much of anything. Well, I thought of that, so the second pack includes Floodlight and Pippo Light Change the Headlamp. Now, floodlight simply increases the range of the headlamp to 5 times the original size, so the headlamp is that thing that's attached to the mining helmet as well as the power armor helmets. Now, not everybody likes wearing those helmets all the time, so Pippo Light Chains the Headlamp changes the standard Pippo Light to one of those headlamps, no matter what headgear you're wearing. So, with all these mods combined, you'll have better lighting, and your nights will definitely be a lot more interesting, and you'll actually have a useful flashlight to use to look around you. I found it to be a very good combination of mods, it might also give you a reason to try out the night vision scopes for the rifles. Actually, I think you're also able to put that thing on a shotgun, which uh, should be interesting. But if nighttime is not really your thing and you simply want to look cool, there's also mods for that, so in the vanilla game the railroad armor with the assault gas mask is a pretty cool looking combination. But it kinda looks worn down, the jacket looks uh, kind of a bit dirty. Well, multicam black railroad armor takes care of that, so it makes the armor look a lot cooler. A nice tint of black. So I really like the Desert Ranger outfit in Fallout New Vegas. In the end there was, uh, I think, multiple variants of that, so... I actually prefer the look of this over that. You just look like you're about to murder someone. It's a very nice retexture. But say you don't care much about dressing up and you simply want to shoot things with a good double barrel shotgun. Well, we got new double barrel shotgun textures. Now the double barrel is a pretty damn cool weapon to use, if you upgrade it in game it's a pretty good weapon as well. The combat shotgun is a tad bit better, but it just does not have that coolness factor that the double barrel shotgun has. And this mod will make the wooden stock look a lot better, it will also add a tad bit of rust to the barrel, which uh, you might not prefer, but overall I do think it makes the whole gun look uh, just a tad bit snappier. So if you like double barrel shotguns, you're definitely going to be blasting Raiders away in style now. And well around the topic of weapons, in a vanilla game the laser sound is a tad bit uh, underwhelming, I'd say. It kinda sounds like dubstep, which I don't really like all that much. But simply better laser sounds changes the laser sounds, it simply sounds better. There's two variants, subtle and powerful. Subtle will make it sound like a plasma rifle from Fallout 3, and powerful will make it sound actually powerful. So I definitely do prefer the powerful version, and it will probably get me to pull out my laser rifle just a tad bit more. I've sort of been avoiding that thing, but it's pretty good. And now it will sound good as well. But next up we got a very simple mod, it's difficulty XP scaling. So this mod increases the XP multiplier you get when you increase your difficulty. So in even like game the only benefit you get out of playing on a harder difficulty is uh, getting an increased chance of legendary items dropping. This mod also rewards you with a bonus XP multiplier for killing things. The same way it was in Fallout 3. Now there is a second version of this mod which will lower the XP multiplier you get for increased difficulty if you're feeling crazy. I would not recommend that one, but if you're really hardcore I suppose that's a thing you could do. Yeah, simple little mod, but I think it adds great incentive to play on a higher difficulty, which is more fun if you do it right. And you definitely buy enough stint packs. Then we've got another texture mod, Vivid Fallout 4 Landscapes. This mod sharpens the vanilla textures, adds new normal maps and slight shadowing, and overall will just make it look a lot better. It's also less VRAM intensive than the vanilla textures, so there is kind of no reason not to try this mod out. 
I mean, it definitely sounds like a good incentive. You'll get better performance as well as better textures. There's also an optional HD normal maps version, which will make the game look even better, but this will catch some horsepower. It's in a great mind, it'll make the ground look a lot better. The rocks too. And nature will just be that much more pretty to stare at. But say landscaping isn't really your thing and you just want to fly around without having to put on power armor. Well, with Ring of Jetpack ability, you get that power armor jetpack ability in the form of a very compact, stylish ring. Now the sky is your limit. It actually really is your limit because you can't really fly that high, but uh, you're gonna be looking like an absolute maniac with this mod. If you pull out your weapon, it looks even weirder. Your arm just kind of like flaps to the left. It kind of looks weird. Enough. Then again, you're putting on a ring to fly around. It uh, really doesn't make any sense when you think about it. But yeah, I suppose if you want to be that elite sniper that goes on top of the rooftop without having to put on power armor, this mod is uh, definitely something for you. Or if you just want to try out something weird and uh, fly around like an absolute maniac, uh, this mod is definitely interesting. Not very realistic though, but pretty interesting. Anyways, that was it for the mods of week 3. Some very good mods in there. I'm actually interested in seeing what we'll find next week. But if you enjoyed the video, remember to leave a like. If you downloaded any of the mods and actually liked them, remember to endorse them on the Nexus as well, because that helps the math authors out. And I will see you in the next episode. Actually, you should combine the jetpack mod with the atom bomb baby mod and it just like fly around and fire baby shots everywhere. I should try that. Anyways, watch the video in the bottom left corner and subscribe if you feel inclined to do so. And if you don't, I'll fire a baby shot at you.